What's going on, folks? I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, so the whole point of this platform is to kind of showcase a journey for anybody that is married with small children, working a nine to five, maybe your spouse working a nine to five, and you just you know you're made for a purposeful life um, in entrepreneurship or even just side work or whatever it may be. That's kind of the goal of what I'm talking about. Various, you know, bootstrapping methods, technology implementations, whatever it may be, whatever I can help on my journey to encourage others, that's what this is about. You know, I am nowhere near an influencer. Uh, nobody may even find this information useful. But one thing that fuels my entire existence and my purpose is my relationship with Jesus Christ. It is one that I am very vocal about. I am a born again believer of the word of God and a follower of Jesus Christ. And I'm very, very proud of that. He loved me. He chose me more than I chose him. And his love is a love that when you truly understand it, you will never deviate or deny it. So things that I will talk about here, a lot is about entrepreneurship and all that stuff. It's great. One thing that you're also going to get here is you're definitely going to get the gospel. And you're definitely going to get someone that's going to speak with the Christian worldview regarding what's going on today. It has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with skin color. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's spiritual warfare, Ephesians 6 to 12. Nothing less. So this video I wanted to talk about real quick was about the information about Chick-fil-A. Okay? So if you haven't been following the news, Chick-fil-A is the second location. One was in Texas, of all places, San Antonio. I can't remember the other location. But this is the second location where an airport has denied Chick-fil-A opening up a location there because of their views. And I want you to be very clear on this. Second Timothy 3 and 5 that says, stay away from those that have an appearance of holiness, but deny the power that can make them godly, the Holy Spirit. So there are a lot of people that will put on a Christian name tag because it fits their comfort level. It sits there, it's a quota, an item they can check off their daily list and say, hey, yeah, I'm a Christian. Because at the end of the day, it reaffirms their self-righteousness and it reaffirms their wickedness to show their mindset that I can call myself something and I'm good. You are not a Christian without denying, excuse me, Christianity is not a name tag that you wear. It is the changing power of the Holy Spirit. It is you seeing yourself and knowing you are to be a soul, God breaking you where you're at, changing your entire existence from the inside out, giving you a new perspective, a new mindset, a new heart of flesh, taking away that heart of stone. You are a new creation in Christ. It is something that you cannot deny if you wanted to. Saul killed Christians. But through the power, the changing power of the Holy Spirit, he became Paul and he shared the gospel vigilantly. And I say all this to say, if you call yourself a Christian and what's going on with Chick-fil-A doesn't perk up an ear or two, you need to reevaluate your relationship with Jesus Christ. Because when I see this, I see the persecution hitting the West like it's hitting the rest of the world. Because see, we have American privilege. Let me say that again. People are quick to say, such and such has white privilege. Such and such has this, such and such has that. We have injustice in this world. Don't get me wrong, there's injustice all around us. But be very, very clear that we as American citizens of the best country here in the world, we have American privilege. And for those that are Christians here in America, we have not seen true persecution because we have a lot of freedoms here. But if you go to Africa, you go to China, you go to India, Pakistan, you go to all these places where your love of Jesus Christ can be a bullet between the center of your eyes, you don't know persecution. Now we see it. We see little things, we see things in the news, but the problem is people are so comfortable they don't truly understand the gravity of the warfare of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Satan is the God, little g, of this world. The wickedness that we see was given to him 
after the Adamic sin. Adam fell, God turned this world over to Satan. But what he did is he loved us enough to come fully God, fully man, to be second Adam, where Adam died in the flesh, Jesus Christ came so we can be living in the spirit. But once again, we war with the flesh and the flesh will completely fight against what is righteous and that is the warfare. So here it is, you have legislation in this open stance against Chick-fil-A. They sell chicken. They don't even preach the gospel, but because of what they stand for, people are not having it. Think about that for a minute. We live in a society where a fast food chain <laughs> will be vilified because of their stance about the word of God. I had no structure about what this video was gonna go, but I want you to know this warfare is just intense. It's gonna increase. You can't ride, you can't serve two masters. You can't live for this world and say you live for Jesus Christ. That's oil and vinegar, or water and vinegar, or whatever the two that doesn't dissolve together. And when I see this, I'm like, <laughs> wow. So if you don't think this is warfare, I would honestly tell you, you need to check your relationship and curb your acts of religion. So this is going to intense. I boldly stand on the word of God. <laughs> and what that looks like is I'm still the same Charles. I take that back. I am still Charles. But I have a whole new mindset of life. I see things totally different. Am I still able to stumble? Absolutely. But living in Christ, it's a totally different relationship. Jesus Christ said, <laughs> if the world hates you, know that it first hated me. So I'm going to leave this video here to the ones that call themselves Christians. Who hates you? Do you say anything that sparks up dissension with people? Because I can tell you, when you stand on the word of God, you live it first. Don't be a hypocrite. Take the log out of your own eye before you can pluck the, eye, the, log, the, the splinter out of another. But if you're living in the word and then you're sharing the word, you're going to get some pushback. Put on the whole armor. Put on the whole armor. So... It's an off-the-cuff video. Hopefully it hits somebody. Be bold in your stance. Don't be Laosidia. But continue to show the love of Jesus Christ. So don't be Ephesus. Have a good one.